Hey everybody, Pastor Ryan, the roving giant here. Uh, I am driving up to the Finger Lakes Trail today. It's Thursday and uh, I got Pastor Todd in the car behind me and we're gonna do a drop off and uh, hike a good section of the Finger Lakes Trail. We're gonna spend the night. We're gonna go fishing, do some hiking and uh, hopefully you enjoy the ride. So uh, come along. So we've made it to the top of the hill here at, the, at our parking spot. Todd's getting his bag situated. I got mine all covered up because it has begun to rain and I am expecting this to be a very wet hiking trip. But what doesn't mean bad, what means fun opportunities. So we are uh, just parked here. I'm just going to try to show you the view back there. It's a beautiful view down into the valley. I'm going to do a little bit of hiking here on the Finger Lakes Trail. Uh, this is the, I don't remember what section, I'll tell you later on, but um, we are hiking from where I finished my trip through Bully Hill to um, it's to Fox Road, there's a parking area there. Um, and we'll be staying by some ponds in Rattlesnake Hill. And well, we'll keep posting as we go. Well, we've been making our way up the road here and we started heading around this corner and realized we almost missed the trail, which is hiding right down this way, down these little steps. So come along with me and we'll uh, sign into the trail register that's down there. And we see all these, this big kind of like cliff on our, our left side and you can see it pretty well when you look down this way. This is a, an old railroad bed from back in the day. It used to actually be a railroad. Now the railroad has moved down the hill down to the valley there, but um, it's pretty cool coming in here and seeing all the washout and I don't know. That's all I got to say, it's just neat. So Todd and I just made it past uh, this section there was a bunch of freshly maintained trails and then we met Mike back there in the red and uh, he has been clearing out the trails and he said he'd even clear them a little extra high for folks like me so <laughs> I'm appreciative of all those folks who come out here and take care of these trails for us so we can enjoy it you guys rock <laughs>
lot of blowdown on this trip. Check out that one. That's pretty cool. I think it was from the windstorm that we had a few days ago. You see that one came down there. Yeah. That one came down there. This, I mean, something must have hit this hard with the wind. This has to be fresh. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's from that major windstorm we had last week. That's what I'm thinking. That tree snapped up there. It just looks like it's a splinter. I know it. It's nutty. No, that's all a little too small. Wow. So, all this blood on here that we're having to make our way uphill for. This is why you don't want to be outside hiking around when the winds are crazy, especially in piney areas. These trees come down so easy. And uh, when the trees come down, we come down. So we just made it through one more segment of blowdown, and on the other side was the other the other portion of Mike's crew, and they're clearing the trail for folks like us. And yet again, we appreciate all of y'all. <laughs> so Todd and I were just hiking uh, the last section of the railroad bed. And we came across a, a guy going to work with the trail crews. His name was Bill Mackinock. I believe I heard that right. And uh, he was actually part of the crew who built the Bully Hill Lean To that I stayed at two videos ago. So that was just a really cool guy to shake the hand who made it possible for me to stay the night in that beautiful, luxurious Lean To. So thank you, Bill and, and crew, for building that. <music> wooded section and we are now right about at Swain Resort or it's just over there on the other side of that hill and uh, that's a snow maker right there, isn't yeah it? that's a snowmaker so, and that's one of the trails right up there that you see coming down the yeah. coming down the side the uh that, that paved road there yeah so up above those pine trees about where we stayed with a group of kids off into the right there we set up camp cool and then we hiked down that road and came this way and then took that railroad bed. Oh, right. Just the way we just came. That must have been a sweet trip. We're just making our way past Swain uh, Ski Resort. We'll have to make it here to go skiing, but... Uh, we're be sticking to the roads from now and pretty much until where we're going to camp. But if there's any interesting things that, 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 if there are any interesting things to show you, I'll turn the camera on. Otherwise, we'll see you at camp.
top of the hill and uh, we're just kind of working our way along the, the remainder of the dirt road here and uh, it's just gorgeous. We saw all those deer that you saw running away off in the distance. We got this pond and the sun and uh, the, the rain has ceased <laughs> and we're getting a little bit of a respite and it should be gone for the rest of the evening. The blue skies are showing up. This has turned out to be a beautiful hike. Um, and we're both very jealous of uh, this dude, whoever this dude is, who has this camp. That's a great spot. So we're just entering the uh, Rattlesnake Hill Wildlife Management Area officially off of the private property. And looks like we just got a bit of a dirt and not even dirt anymore, a grass road, <laughs> stone road a little bit ahead of us and shouldn't be too far away from the turnoff and heading right over to our pond and hopefully our campsite for the evening. So we've turned off the main trail, we've just gone by this little pond and not much farther we'll hit the, the bigger pond. I'll show you the views when we get there and we'll set up camp. Hopefully we'll find some dry stuff because it's all pretty swampy here but I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Well, we've picked our campsite. We're gonna start getting ourselves set up while we still got some daylight and then get the poles out, see if there's any fish hanging out in this pond. They are, and they're hungry. But welcome to camp, folks. We've, right, here's my setup all taken care of over here. Pastor Todd's over here, got his setup all working, putting the sleep, taking the sleeping bag out. And uh, I think before the sun goes down too far, I'm gonna get a line in the water. Called it quits on fishing, but still uh, worth being out here. It's just beautiful. It's so peaceful. It's quiet. Um, we've been filling up our water and getting ready to cook up dinner. So hopefully we got some good chili videos to show. <laughs> So we're, uh, we're heading to bed. Yeah, he's making lightning happen. It's lightning. Um, we're, uh, we're getting ready to head to bed. It's probably only about 8.30, 9 o'clock-ish, but we've been hearing some wind come in, and uh, we'll probably get rain in the morning, but should be for an interesting night because we got a, uh, a beaver out in the water that is not happy about us being here, but he'll just have to deal. Um, well, yeah, enjoy your bivy. Todd. <laughs> I will enjoy my hammock thoroughly. Well, uh, good night everybody. We've uh, hunkered in and we're gonna enjoy a nice night. Peeper toads are out and the, uh, the rain keeps trickling down in the tarp every once in a while. There's a little bit of wind but not too much wind and I think this is gonna be a good night's sleep tonight. Um, yeah, tomorrow should be a good day. We're just hiking out to about noon, so it'll be uh, about 7 a.m. till noon. Um, and we'll make our way over to the, uh, let's see here. We're gonna make our way over to where we left Todd's vehicle. And um, it should be mostly downhill. So uh, I'll keep you posted. I did, I promise, I got expandable memory for my phone so I will not run out of storage space on this trip um, yeah so I will see y'all in the morning well everybody good morning we uh, had a good night's sleep and uh, getting all my gear 
situated over here. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. It may not show up. I'm not too worried. But, uh, yeah, it rained a little bit, but not too much. And uh, everything else, everything stayed dry. We stayed comfortable. Got a beautiful morning at the pond. And uh, we're going to get our gear packed up and have ourselves some breakfast. So we, uh, we finished up breakfast, we got all packed up, and uh, we're saying goodbye to the pond, hitting the trail. 7.40 a.m. 7.40 a.m. And we should be, show up, we're expecting to show up the car, what, around like noon, 1 o'clock, somewhere around there? We may, I, I'm not sure, it might go faster. Yeah, could go quick. So we'll keep you posted as we go. <laughs> down this grassy hill, the first downhill in a series of a lot of downhill that I believe we're going to be doing this morning. And uh, there's these orange blazes all along the tree line. And Pat is saying this is some, not just private hunting land, but I think like an actual hunting club. They'll come in and hunt all in that woods there. So I don't know, pretty, I always think those hunting clubs are pretty cool. I'll have to tell you all a story about my my dad and this really messed up looking deer. I'll, I'll put a picture on the video of the messed up looking deer that he got at a hunting club one time. So, uh, yeah, we will uh, show you once the hill gets steeper and we head back into the woods what the trail looks like. It's fortunately not raining this morning, which I'm pretty pumped about. It was supposed to be raining by this point. We got a little bit of drizzle just before we woke up, and it hasn't rained since, knock on wood. So, keep it posted.
made our way from the Rattlesnake Hillside across the road and the trail, railroad tracks. And now the trail is turning to head right up this hill. This is Fox Hill. We'll be going up probably about halfway up the hill and then following along the side of the hill all the way pretty much to the very end. We'll climb at the end a little bit. Yeah. We'll climb at the end a little bit and we'll be at our vehicle. So, yeah. So sometimes we hit trail maintenance that we need folks like Mike and his crew to take care of it and sometimes we can take care of it ourselves. So try to move stuff if you're walking through. So we're taking a quick drink break after we made it up the hill and now we're just going to weave along this trail where our next checkpoint is going to be Delude Hill Road, um, which is access to um, for the Finger Lakes Trail and or for this section of the Finger Lakes Trail. This is, uh, I'm trying to remember, I had it up just a second ago. This is the M8 section. So we're hiking M8, heading to access to Delude Hill. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll check in with you if there's anything interesting. Otherwise, see you at Delude Hill. Started right down at this end, coming down out of Rattlesnake Hill, hit point three when we got to the road. Yeah, he's gonna let me use a pen so I can point better. And we made it up the hill. This was going past the railroad tracks and made it up the hill here. We've come across this side of the hill and gone through a couple gullies here, and we believe we are right at this point that is uh, eventually gonna cross us over to Delude Hill Road. So we'll give you the update when we get there. As we're hiking along this trail, I, uh, we're, <laughs> we keep having these moments of, are we almost there yet? Or do we not know where we are on the map? And I feel like this happens to me every single time I hike. <laughs> um, but wishful thinking. Wishful thinking, yes. Yeah, we're you, almost there. You look at the map, is, is, it, is it reality or is it optimism speaking? But <laughs> hopefully we are getting close to Delude Hill Road. Um, but we ain't there yet. I don't think we saw this register on the map. It looks like a new one, or fairly, fairly recent. Yeah, the sign text is so good, nice and clear. Map M8, Delude Hill Road. Oh, so and maybe that's where we are. 8:28:17, 8:29:17. There's got to be something since then. The last entry was 2:26. Yeah. It's been a while. Let's see, 9, 10, 2, 17, 2, okay. What's today, 4, 13? Yep. What, were we, what was the road we started on yesterday? Um, from Garwoods. Gar, yeah, Garwoods, south of Swain. Garwoods via Rattlesnake Hill. Nice day. Nice day. No rain. 
temp in the around 50 maybe? Yeah, somewhere around there. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we got to be getting close if that was the Delude Hill Road trail register. So, I'm still not convinced that this is Delude Hill Road. It must be up on the up on this upcoming hill that we have here, but I think that'll uh oh, try not to fall on the ice. But should be there soon. We made it to Delude Hill Road. Heads up this way, goes down that way, and we came from that way. Now we're making our way over into the trail, but it's a pretty view back to the mountain back there. That's really nice. So, coming along, we shall continue. One more large segment to go before we make it back to our vehicle. across this cool little cabin camp. It's not, uh, it's all private property, so it's not a spot that you can stay at if you're hiking on the Finger Lakes Trail, but it's still a cool spot nonetheless. They got a table with a stone top. <laughs> That's really pretty neat. This is a cool spot. Welcome, welcome to our cabin. Please don't come in. <laughs> Found eating corn will be shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. Looks like there's another register. I don't know if we do you want to bother since we just pulled one out a little while ago. May as well. Yeah, I think it's nine tenths of a mile left. We'll get that pen that fell. The end of the Bills playoff drought. <laughs> Karen Chalking. By the way, six degrees by the way. Yeah, that's a good weather to be out in. So I was told by the internet <laughs> that... Must be true. Yeah, it must be true if the internet said it's true. I was told that... These vines here, these big thick ones, are the wild grape vines, and that these uh, essentially have water in them. So I'm going to try to cut it, and I'm just I'm curious if it's actually true. So what I was told is that I mean that is real damp in there, but I don't know if it actually has. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it has any water in it. Suck on the end of it. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I was told that if you do that and then you leave a water bottle for about an hour, you'll have a full water bottle, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm convinced. What about the other end? Maybe it's coming up from the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> well, I doubt it. I'm doubtful too. Maybe the cactus, it works with cactus, but. Maybe it's a, a different variety. Maybe I just, I. I've identified it wrong. Maybe this isn't actually wild grape right here. Probably poison ivy. If you want to wait an hour, I'll I'll meet you at the car. Yeah, you can just stand here with the camera for the hour. No. no. <laughs> So we are making our way up the last bit of hill here. Todd's behind me. It's a pretty section, wide open. But once you get to the top of this hill, it should be pretty much a 
straight away to the car. So, thanks for coming along. This has been a great hike with you guys. Nice camp. And uh, we'll see you next time. Roving Giant, signing out. Thank you.